Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can call the SAP Fiori web GUI because normally you are familiar with the SAP GUI itself. So with a with the SAP logon with a program directly on your local computer where you can execute transaction codes and so on. And if you open up SAP Fiori, so you can open this up with the transaction code slash UI2 slash FLP. Keep in mind that because of the slash you have to use slash N or slash O upfront and then uh, the SAP Fiori launchpad will open up and here basically as in the concept or idea of, of SAP Fiori you are working with different apps itself. You can of course use the enterprise search to search for additional apps. You can rearrange your catalogs, your tiles and so on. But basically here you don't have any possibility to, to call the web GUI but I will show you a little trick. So for example, if we're going again back into the SAP GUI, you can call one transaction code and it's as simple as it is. You can call web GUI to call the web GUI in your local browser. Just type in the transaction code web GUI and then hit the enter key. And then you have to allow uh, this. If you want to, you can remember your or my decision in this case, click on allow. And then the SAP NetViewer, so the SAP GUI for HTML will open up. And here you have basically the SAP Web GUI. And for example, if this command field is not shown, then you can uh, display it on more SAP GUI actions and settings. And then settings. And then here on the interaction design, you have the checkbox to show the OK code field, the command field then just simply click on the save button and then you will have the command field shown in here. You can call different transaction codes. So for example, the, the data browser with the transaction code SE16N and so on. What do you want to? You can also, if you are familiar with the with the path of the web GUI, so it's normally SAP slash BC slash GUI slash SAP slash ITS slash web GUI. You can directly, of course, with your um, server name, um, type it in the browser then of course also the, the web GUI will open up or what you can also do is you can open up the transaction SICF so to maintain or define the services and then on the service name you can use asterisk then web GUI and then once again asterisk to search for all the the, yeah, the, the services that include web GUI and here, as we saw earlier for this path, we have the path for the SAP GUI for HTML. And then with right click and then test service, yeah, you can again allow this. Um, the web GUI will also open up and you have the possibility to work with the web GUI directly in your browser. So this is as simple as it is. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put it in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much and then see you in the next video.